Hi, welcome to Just a Lab Sim Racing videos. So, well, today I show you how to optimize your HP Reverb G2 for a set of Corsa. And uh, here we start with the configuration of uh, the Windows Mixed Reality settings. So, well, here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, the headset display uh, should be uh, set to high quality. I've set the app window resolution to 720p to reduce uh, the amount of pixels being uh, rendered uh, from the graphics card. So next one is experience options. So you could uh, go to best visual quality res resolution. I've set to uh, maximum best quality, which is uh, in my case here the resolution. Uh, 4320 by 2160, that's the resolution of the HP Reverb G2, best quality. And the frame rate, of course, we want to have a frame rate, a final frame rate of 90 Hz in the game. And so we go for 90 Hz. So, and the other things like sleep timeout, you can let uh, Windows decide and suspend Windows Mixed Reality. And it's apps when my headset is asleep is set to on, but that's not uh, uh, relevant for the performance. So, well, here we go to the next step. Now we go to the settings in Steam VR. So, well, here we are now in Steam VR, and uh, well, as you can see, I have uh, also activated F. PS VR, that's a tiny tool you can get on Steam for a few bucks. I think it's about three or four euros or something else, but it's very helpful if you want to uh, measure your performance of your headset. And we will see this is uh, very helpful. We can see it really later. So at the moment it's uh, set to uh, 55 FPS, but that's dependent on, on the configuration. We need to concentrate to a set of Corsa. First of all, let's go to the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR settings. Let's go to Graphics, and it's set to Steam VR per app setting. Don't go to Motion Vector. When you go to Motion Vector, you have uh, in all the games you have 55 FPS with um, reprojection. That's nothing we want to have. Uh, Force DX11 mode is uh, switched off in my case now. So that's it for the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR settings. And now we go to the specific settings. Let's go here to the general settings. You can see we have a refresh rate of 90 Hz. Motion smoothing is set to on and resolution per eye is set to 100%. The other things are not really relevant uh, for us. So that's it for the general settings. Then we go to video. That's still the same. Motion smoothing on. Render resolution custom set to 100%. And uh, advanced super sampling filtering uh, switch to off. Overlay render quality set to auto high and uh, pause VR when headset is idle, it's too off, that's uh, not relevant. So what's then important to you is go to per application, video settings, select the application, go to a set of Corsa and I've disabled motion smoothing, custom resolution multiplier set to 100%, field of view to 100%, override world scale set to off. So that's it. We can close this now and uh, well let's go into the game and have a look at the game settings. So here we go on with the game settings and uh, first we concentrate uh, to the video settings. That's uh, I've uh, installed uh, the content manager for sure and uh, what's also important uh, later that you need a uh, sol and uh, now we concentrate first on the standard 
settings of a set of Corsa. So as you can see the last session was 89.2 frames per second. Rendering mode is OpenVR. Resolution, I am choosing custom resolution. Custom resolution sets to full HD at 60 Hz. That's just for the recording. You can lower this if you are not recording. If you don't need a mirror screen, lower this uh, as far as you go because uh, every pixel you save that needs to be rendered is a pixel you gain for VR performance. So frame rate set to 90 FPS. More makes no sense because of the headset does 90 FPS. So and then in general I can say the quality options you can see MSAA is set to 4, anisotropic filtering to 8, maximum is 16, MSAA is maximum is 8, world detail set to very high instead of maximum, shadow res resolution to 2048, sample generation set to high. So in, in general I can say that uh, on all the settings uh, you go one step below the maximum. That's in general. So we need not to go through all the options now. Uh, that in, in general, uh, for example, here depth of field very high instead of maximum. That's okay. And so you will get a uh, good performance. So then what's absolutely in necessary is the filter. So the filter gives you a lot of performance if you are going to choose the right filter. So I've choose here a filter, it's called C13 Camera Obscura. You can uh, get this filter on racedepartment.com. It's there for download, so I put the download link uh, later uh, into the description of the video. You can find it in the description of the video. This is a filter which gives you a perfect, clear and sharp picture, not even in VR, but uh, I, I'm going to use only this, this filter now because it's a fantastic, absolutely real looking filter and it gives you a lot of performance in VR. It seems that this filter is really optimized for uh, VR. So that's it. And you can you see the, the mirror resolution is 256 by 1024. Don't choose here the high quality, that, that's okay, the mirrors. Uh, and the other parameters are not switched on here. So, well, then let's go to CSP settings because I also have uh, installed the CSP, which uh, helps a lot. And uh, well, there's uh, a lot of settings here. And uh, well, we go so the general patch settings. And in general, I can say nearly I have nearly activated everything that that's helpful. So this is uh, affecting not so much uh, performance. Uh, for example, the brake disc FX I have enabled uh, the car instrument. Everything, nearly everything is uh, enabled. And uh, what's really important is at the graphic adjustments that this extension is active and then you have the option with AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution and of course switch that to active. In quality I set to ultra quality, you can also go to custom quality but I'm going to choose the ultra quality here and uh, of course you can lower this even depending on your graphics card if you want uh, to get a little bit more performance out of it. So with my RTX 3080 it's okay to go to ultra quality and then you can uh, adjust the sharpness which helps a lot for the viewing experience within your headset. I've set this to 75% now which gives me a really perfect picture. So well of course with the other parameters you can play around a little bit with them for example the grass effects if if you experience some performance problems with your graphics card switch off any of these parameters you like and you will gain a little bit 
uh, perform. So in, in my case, I said it's everything is on, like the lighting effects and uh, the grass effects and, and so on. So, but uh, you can play around with these parameters. So, well, that's it for the settings. And then we can go and have a look how this looks and feels when you're in a car. Let's go. Well, here we are now in the F1 car 2022 from Lewis Hamilton to Mercedes. And well, here we go on a quick ride in Spa. So you can see the performance of a full 90 FPS now and the reasonable quality. For me that quality is absolutely okay. A little bit lower than everything as I said. But the most important is that you have uh, fantastic quality here. I show you also uh, the performance with another car and with a mod. This is just a quick demonstration here uh, of, uh, let's say, a standard track from the Seda Corsa and this nice F1 2022 car. And of course the graphics look pretty good, but uh, this uh, track is not, not really uh, equipped with the best graphics, so I'll show you another track and another car, where you of course see the high quality of this the settings here. But I can tell you the, the, the picture is absolutely crystal clear, so there's nearly no difference uh, between the standard screen and the view through the VR lenses, so it's absolutely fantastic here. And the picture is so smooth. So well, let's go to another track. To into another car to show you the full beauty and performance of these settings here. So, well, now we are in a Jack XJ13, a car that was only manufactured once. It's my one of my most loved cars here, so have a look around and just turn around and show you this nice 12-cylinder engine here. That's fantastic in VR, but you can do, have a look at the engine in the back of this fantastic jack here and uh, it's a track designed by Fat Alfie and here we go on the track and you can see the absolute beauty in VR here on this nice track we're going to drive to a small village now I'm slowing down a little bit just to enjoy the graphics here. It's looking so fantastic and it's, it's running so smooth. That's absolutely incredible here in VR. Look at the church here. That's so much fun driving in this car in VR. That's absolutely incredible. And um, as I said with these settings, it's absolutely smooth. Running absolutely smooth here. I'll be aware that, uh, well, I'm for sure, I, I can go a little bit higher with some parameters or have sometimes a little bit a drop in FPS, but that's because I'm recording on the same machine. On a secondary 4K screen which uh, is stealing me about, oh, let's say 15 to 25 FPS. And it's absolutely fantastic here. Absolutely great scenery here. I love these tracks from Fat Alfie. And, uh, well, if you like this video, give me a thumb up. 
and uh, if you have any questions about the settings of your Reverb G2 headset, let me know. And as I said, some links you need will be put into the description of the video. And uh, if you like, I'd be happy if you're going to subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to park my car here now at this little restaurant at the beer garden. So, well, let's go out and have a drink. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Back on the track. Bye-bye. Okay, I want a beer now. Let's go. <laughs> I want to get out of the car. I have no space to walk here. Okay, no beer. No, no, no drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Let's go on. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. <laughs>